Hi Aries, welcome to my channel. This is a love romantic relationship reading for you Aries. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine. I hope you're safe wherever you are right now. This reading for today Aries is for the next 24 hours. Love connection, love advice for Aries please. What is the message for Aries friends? Love energy. What can I get for Aries please, okay? Before I start, Aries, I would like to thank you for coming back, for tuning in. Thank you so much for your support. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button and the bell, please do it now if you're interested and if you are keen. And if you would like to further support my channel, um, check out the description box below because you'll find the details of my Instagram account. Connect with me there, please. Check out my online store. The setting manifestation candle, it is available. It's free shipping worldwide. It comes with a free reading for me. So, yep, visit the store. The link is down the description box below, okay? So, this is the next 24 hours. Love connection, love energy message for Aries. What is the message for you? Okay, let's start the reading. You've got here the king of swords in upright position. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy and ten of cups. Okay. This is a past person. This is you, Aries. I really feel like you're very strict. You're very rigid. You have made up your mind. Your heart is made of stone. <laughs> you, you, you are the king of swords here. You're, you're cold-blooded. <laughs> you are so... <laughs> when it comes to this person, this person makes you happy, but at the same time burnt you. This person makes you happy. They make you giddy. This is the person you want to marry. This is a person you want to have a long-term commitment and relationship. But this person turn you to the king of swords. You you become so smart and intelligent towards how you deal with this person. And you become the king of swords. You become so smart that you have hidden your passion, your emotion towards this person. And I'm saying you this because your person is will will reach out it's it's an approaching love energy and it sounds like they're very sorry this is you you look upset and this person is hi can we have a drink can i buy you a coffee can i talk to you they're very scared okay so you've got someone you've got someone what's that song i'm hearing a song you've got someone mm -hmm. I don't know I'm hearing that but it feels like Aries like it's it's it feels like Aries life is too short forgive forget if you love this person let them be let them in okay it's it's a it's a short card it's 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 the guide is saying look this person has probably, you know, hurt you, blah, blah, blah. But they've got something new to offer. They're offering you Ten of Cups. So try to be nosy what they're bringing you. And because um, you look upset, you have a little bit of pride. You actually want to pinch them with this sword. <laughs> you upset, you're pissed off. This person pissed you off. But the more, the more you hate, the more you love. The more you hate, the more you love. Here they are. Here they are. Love will make you smile. Um, this this probably is an artist or a singer because I hear it. I'm hearing an artist. You, you know I can't smile without you. Can't smile without you. This is you. <laughs> you wanting to smile, but you don't want to smile because you're upset with them. And here they are, winning you. Aries, Aries. So you've got a lover, an ex, a past person who's really trying to get into your heart. It's, pier it's piercing your heart to show your emotions, okay? I love it. <laughs> and um, yeah, so good luck. In the next 10 days, you've got a person who will really, really get into you really melt your ego and make you smile okay that is the reading um today is november 13th and mars is direct so 
Aries, good luck. You will, your fire is lit. All right, your fire is lit up. Okay, and um, the second reading. This is a third party energy from something so fun. You've got a three of swords. This is a third party energy. Three of swords, the star card. So a messy breakup, really, really messy. Not so good breakup. You cannot be friends or you don't want to be friends. But this person is stalking you. Expect someone who betray you, disappointed you, a third party to sneak around. Seven of Swords. They will say an excuse. They'll tell you, oh, Aries, I, you know, I've decided to call you because I, I want to ask something. Or for, they're very sneaky. The strategy of this person is very sneaky. Oh, hi, Aries. I'm calling you because you know that restaurant that we've been through? What is the name of the restaurant again? Or they would ask you stupid, silly question. But that's not is the agenda. Okay, that's not the real agenda. The real agenda is to get your attention and to see if you have forgiven them or if they could still... If, if you could spare them forgiveness. <laughs> so you have a sneaky person who betray you, who fight, messy breakup, not so good. They will be sneaky. You know, the way they come back, the way they call you. Um, they want to make you feel that it's not serious. You know, this is just casual, but not, that's not the agenda. That's not the agenda. You're smart, Aries. You know that. Okay. And then the third reading, Three of Pentacles. And then you've got the temperance. You know, Aries, um, I tell you, there is four person, four soulmate this month that would reach out and call you. Okay? There is three to four person um, from the past that would call you or text you. Two of this. If not, if not, maybe this is for some of you, it could just be one person for it could just be one person, but for some of you, I'm seeing four. One, two, three, four, maximum of four. But if there was a third party, this person, they're so embarrassed on, they don't know how to position themselves to get back to you. If there was no third party and they just disappear, um, nine of cups, the two, nine of cups and the temperance card, they're now available they're ready to they're a bear they're they're single ready to mingle and they are available for a two of cups moment the thing is you won't make an effort okay three of pentacles this is you i'm not i'm not gonna make an effort i did all the you did already the chasing the waiting so you're not interested with this person it seems to be you're not gonna put a lot of work so this person would have to do the work to make it work it could be Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Yeah, very watery, emotional. Um, yeah, for some of you, this is connected to your family or a friend. This is a past person. Because pretty much there is a storyline that there is a celebration. Because Nine of Cups, this is eating and drinking. So there is a celebration, some sort of event, and this person would like to attend this event if you will be there. And you're not sure because they will be there. So the temperance card, you know, the angel is struggling and your, your guide and the angel and the divine timing is struggling to get you back together because this is like a free will. Your person is now available and they want to, they want to, you know, they want to check in with, in with you again. And you, in your case, it's, you're no longer interested. But I think one person will, will play Cupid. You know, they will, one of your, one of, one of your friend will tell you, oh, your ex, or there's someone interested, interested there that would like to talk to you or call you. They will be attending that just for you. So just an FYI, yeah. FYI, past lover or a past person is waiting for you in that event. And this temperance card, it's kind of assuring you that they really want to speak to you. Okay, they want to meet you now. Like this is a good timing for you and this person to reconnect or rekindle. Um, yeah, so 
yeah, I'm, there's a lot of, I'm hearing RSVP, FYI from your friends. And FYI, your ex is going to be there. Your past person is going to be there. Or this past person who you're interested, they're going to be there. And they're also asking if you will be there. Kind of thingy. So, yeah. So, good luck to you if you're going to attend that um, event. I don't know. It could be an online collaboration. I'm saying online karaoke or something online or something. Maybe face-to-face. -face. But it's a group. And this person would join there if you're there. And the person will tell you, oh, they want you to be there. Or FYI, he or she will be there. So be there. <laughs> Next reading is you've got the Knight of Pentacles in reverse and the Sun card. And the Knight of Wands. Okay. This is a missed opportunity. All right. There was a dating situation or a past person. This is not an ex. All right. This is not an ex. This is not an ex files. Uh, this is a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. For some of you, this took place around the month of... The last conversation was January. And for some of you, May and June. And for some of you, September. So this is a missed opportunity. And here they are again. They will flirt with you again. Their aim is to be friendly with you. They want to be casually friendly. And then they will switch to a Knight of Wands energy. Okay, so it is a missed opportunity. It's a person from the past to those months that I mentioned. They will be very casual. They will be chatty, cheerful. Um, they will reach out. They will approach you. It doesn't feel like it's romantic right away. But as soon as they pick up that you're interested, they're going to jump the hoop and show you the Knight of Wands energy. Okay, so this is fun. This is fun, I think so. They haven't really damaged you. <laughs> like, you know, this person, maybe they disappointed you, but it could be fixed. With this one, is maybe not so much. <laughs> but this too is promising, okay? So good luck, Aries. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for being here. I'll see you soon again. Bye-bye.